Greetings and salutations, you guys. Hayden here. Welcome to part two of our live sale today. Happy Thursday and June 1st. <laughs> and if you're watching this video after the live is already over, you can check down below in the description box. Items availability and the pricing is there. And you can check down there for all previous live sale videos as well and see items availability and the pricing there all the rules and information for the sale are right here and if you can't read that it's also down below in the description box of the video but yeah how was everyone's day welcome back everyone there's kathleen sister of a down hi abadia um what's up guys did you guys do anything fun today while we had a little break from the live sale? Hi, Purple Rain. Hello. Um, also, the second question is right here from Linda. You have two chances to enter. You're entering into the same video. Just leave an answer um, again for the second question. So you'll have two uh, chances of winning. And I'm going to show you guys the giveaway right now. But here is the link... Uh, hi, my fair girly. How are you? There's that link. Our question is, what is your scent preference? Floral, musky, ocean, etc. So, what's your favorite scent? Let us know. And if you have, like, a favorite, like, perfume or cologne or whatever, let us know, too, in the comments. Um, hi, Fanny. How are you? But, yeah, there is the link. Oh, and this is our giveaway. Okay, so it is a gold peacock vase. It's so cute. It's so fun. It has like a little rainbow tail and little head thing. But yeah, this is our giveaway. It's a gold or a metallic gold peacock face. Since um, we're doing some home decor right now, I thought this would be a great giveaway. It's so cute too. It'd be so fun with like a little thing of flowers inside of there too. So you can even put like a candlestick inside there if you want it also. And it'll, it could be a candlestick holder. But this is tonight's giveaway. You're tidying up the garage, found a box of decorations that I used when I worked in an office. Now it's, oh, Sister of a Down, isn't that so good to clean out the garage? I'm trying to do that. It's it's slow, but steady. Um, I'm like going through the garage and I'm like, Mom, do you want this? Mom, do you want this? And she's like, yes, yes, yes. So it has been... <laughs> <laughs> kind of slow. I also was working in the garden. I didn't end up getting to um, plant any of the new plants that we got. I ended up um, pruning the roses. There was a lot of pruning to be done. And then I also did some fertilizing. And then I sprayed again for gnats. Just, not gnats. Wait, are they, is that what they're called? No. Um, what are they called? Those little uh, bugs that like to eat. Aphids! The aphids. So I was spraying for aphids. So... Yeah. I'm having a live sale, my little angel. You want to say hi? Hi. There's Eliza. Have a good dinner, my little angel. Oh, he wants to show you guys his really cool... What is this called, Eliza? Rubik's Cube. Rubik's Cube. It's metallic. Look what I can do. I can't do it, Eliza. Oh, there, I did it. Look at that. Wow. I'm just like you. Hi, Melissa. Ooh, happy birthday month. It's my dad's birthday month, too. It's my dad's birthday. Yeah, today. Are you going to go eat dinner? Yeah. Is Grandma coming down? Okay, well, let's... Oh, Mom! Look at the table. Let me know if you want those, um, the lemon things on the table. Let me know if you want the lemon stuff on the table. Just look at the table. They're lemons. You can't miss them. Let me know if you want them, otherwise I'm going to sell them. She's screaming, so it sounds like she wants to keep them. She's still screaming. 
She says, I like this. Don't sell them. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. We're not selling the lemon stuff. I know some people were asking for lemon stuff. And I found some. But this is the lemon stuff that... My mom's obsessed with. But let me show you guys what the lemon stuff looks like. <gasps> also, I was playing around with the dining table. Um, I cut, like, a bunch of fresh flowers. And this is, like... Okay, so these are the lemon things that I was telling you guys about. Um, they're so cute. Like, they're, like, in the shape of lemons. Like, who doesn't like that, right? So... Yeah, I'm sorry. These lemon things are not for sale. I know I have, like, other lemon things. Like, I have, like, just regular plates with lemons on them. And I have, like, a pitcher as well. But I'm still trying to find that box. So, um. I know. I'm sorry, 007. <laughs> Mom doesn't want to let go of the lemons. I'm sorry. She also is a lover of lemons. That's why I usually pick up lemon stuff. And, yeah, this stuff, unfortunately, she doesn't want to let go of. Um, oh, but do you guys want to see the table? Hold on. The table is so pretty right now. I'm kind of obsessed. I was setting it up. I, like, my, my theme was kind of like, I guess, like, storybook fairy tale? I don't know. Garden party? No clue. Um, oh, my mom just sent me a photo. What did she say? Oh, uh, she sent me a photo of the lemons. <laughs> so you want to keep them? <laughs> you guys want to see the picture of the lemons that she sent me? She was, like, looking at them. Yeah, looks like she's not going to want to let them go. I'm sorry, guys. But they're so cute. Uh, but this is the table. Those are all. Uh, those are some of the roses that I picked from the garden. They're so pretty. I'm like dead over them. Also, though, <laughs> do you guys see the? Um, those were the little, uh, the Lennox house creamer and sugar and salt and pepper and the napkin holder sets, like. They totally go on theme. So they are also on the table at the moment. But look at my flowers. They're so pretty. The roses are amazing. I'm obsessed. And then I have like my little glass vessels where I put the cuttings of plants that my aunt gave me. And I'm propagating them at the moment. So I'm hoping they grow really well. They have roots. I think all of them have roots already. Um, and it's only, they've only been in the water for about a week, so they, it looks like they're doing pretty good, so I'm very excited about that. Um, we also have, like, another photo. Is this one better? Let's see. Oh, this one's cute. You can probably see everything better in this one. Oh, uh, there you go. I know, it's tea party time. <laughs> Oh, I did change out that red cake stand, though. And then I put that other one with the flowers. But, yeah. it's all It all goes so cute together. And that was that Amour book vase. Good thing I didn't sell that, too. Now I have, like, a whole new um, little tablescape. <gasps> Marjorie! Roses are... You know what? My, my mom is so good at growing roses she just has a green thumb and i don't think i have a green thumb i feel like it's just like just being related to her it has it's just kind of like rubbed off on me but this is how the climbing roses are looking it looks crazy like the pink ones are the climbing roses and that's going up the side of the house in that corner and then there's a yellow rose bush that's in front of it and it's like literally being overtaken also by the climbing roses like the climbing roses are climbing on the yellow roses so um i'm slowly cutting them back and then attaching them to the wall so that they are trained more to climb up but i'm just waiting for them to bloom so then i can cut them and then use them in like a 
in a some sort of flower arrangement or something. So I'm just bidding my time until I can cut them all down from the bottom of the roses right there. Uh, oh, here's a close-up of them. Did I show you guys these photos already? I probably did. Yeah, the pink roses are so pretty. I can only grow... What are the knockout roses? What are those? And thank you, Kathleen. I'll give you guys a backyard tour, a garden tour next week when I finish everything. Can we get a video one day of all your... Oh, like my little coin bags? Yeah, we can totally do that. Oh, thank you, Purple Rain. Did I do a video? Oh, I did take a video. Which one is this one? Um, this is a little video that I took of the table. It's probably not the best. I just took it on my phone. But there's the roses. There's oh, and there's some hydrangeas in there, too. Some pink hydrangeas. They're so pretty. But, ah, uh, the roses. I'm dead over them. They're so cute. But look at the little house napkin holder. Oh, and I just, I got that giant candle at the Goodwill. It's a Pottery Barn candle, and it smells so good. Oh, my gosh. I know, Marjorie, right? It's like a giant, like, giant bush of flowers, roses. At the front of the house, we have a... It's like an orange tree, and then we also have a rose bush underneath, and they also have like melded together, and it just looks like one giant plant. And like the roses are like up by where the oranges are, and it just is crazy. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah, the question is, what is your scent preference? So, what is your favorite perfume? Cologne scent. There you go. I typed it out for you, Kathleen. Okay. And then I'll leave the link again one more time as well for the giveaway. And we are giving away that super cute metallic gold um, peacock vase tonight. It is again. It's so cute. Sorry, I look like such a hot mess. Literally, I've just been in and out of the house running around. Um, but we can get started. Um, our first item. Now this is a pair of Crystal Mikasa uh, salt and pepper little containers. They don't have the little spoons that go with them, but you can buy those anywhere at like, uh, like on Amazon or something. Just buy like the tiny little spoons. Um, but yeah, they are really, really cute. They're crystal. Um, this one still has the Mikasa sticker on it. But they're so fun. You can even use these as candle holders. Just take the top off. You can put the taper candle inside of there. Or you can even use this as like a little votive holder too. So they're pretty versatile. You can kind of use these for a lot of different things. And they're super cute. So it's a set of two. And these are Mikasa crystal salt and pepper. Oh, oh, Marjorie. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. We have, I think we have those. They're red. They're like um, on the side of the house. I don't have any photos of them though. The only thing about those roses is we have them, but you know like those giant like vertical tree bush things that look like topiaries? I can't describe them and I don't know what they're called. But they, um, we have those right where those rose bushes are. And... Apparently, like, those trees, like, they kind of give off, like, a sap or something. And then it gets on the roses. So, like, our roses always kind of look a little crazy looking. But the, they, they still bloom and all that stuff. But, like, it, it kind of gets, like, this weird coating on the roses. So, it's kind of, like, a bummer that that happens. But it's okay. Hi, Lady Badger. Okay, so this is item number one. These are our salt and pepper me costa crystal holders and these uh, we're gonna be how much fade rain okay we're doing these for twenty dollars that's gonna be item number one 
for our Mikasa little crystal salt and pepper holders with the little lids. They're really cute. Okay, next up is item number two. And for number two, I have, let me just do another crystal piece. I only have these. This is another um, Mikasa crystal item. And it's just like a little, I don't know what to call this. Um, what should call it? What does it say on here? Oval covered box. Okay, it's an oval covered box. The style is called Diamond Fire. And it's really cute. You can put your jewelry inside of here. Put it like next to, um, next to like a, like the sink. Or you can put it on a dresser. Uh, really, really cute. You can even put some little candies and stuff inside of here too. I have a bunch of these around the house. And we always have like M&Ms inside. And then Eliza just goes from like container to container eating the M&Ms. Um, still has a little sticker on the bottom. It's in brand new condition also. But this is item number two. Hi, Sandra. Oh, my gosh. How are you, Sandra? This is our um, Mi Casa Crystal Oval Box. And this one is going to be how much feed rain? Yeah, it's like a catch-all. Okay, we're going to do this one for 15. This one's a, it's a pretty good size, too. It's like the size of a large cupcake. You can tell I'm hungry. Everything's everything's food to me right now. Okay, so that's number two. A Mikasa little crystal box. And then next is number three. And then oh Marjorie's calling number two. Congratulations, Marjorie. <laughs> little crystal box. Put it over here. Okay. So Number three, I have, oh, okay, I don't know if anyone would be interested in this, but, um, I don't know why I like to collect these little, they're, like, the nut little nutcrackers, and this one is a super cute silver scroll, and I just thought it was super fun. I have a couple of different ones, but, um, yeah, I actually have a different squirrel one, so I'm gonna let this one go, but it's really, really cute, and... Yeah, I don't know any, it doesn't have like a make or anything, but it's just a little squirrel nutcracker. And he's metal. So that's going to be item number three. This is our um, metal. Oh, what is mm, I don't know what happened right now. Did it change the camera? Oh, it did. That was weird. I'm sorry. Okay, metal um, squirrel nut cracker. And I don't know. We can do this one for 10 bucks. That's going to be item number three. And then I have, I have so many random things. You guys are like, Adrian, you buy like the weirdest things. Um, I have. This is a anthropology bowl. It's um, it's blue, and then it has like these white polka dots with like a little green dot inside of them, and just really pretty. It's like a nice like salad or fruit bowl. The interior is just white, and apparently it was made in Hungary. And, um, you can actually, ha like, it has, like, a texture, like, you can feel the little dots, which is cool, too. But it's just a beautiful blue anthropology bowl with the polka dots. They kind of look like olives to me, like a white, I don't know, an olive. Okay, so this is number four, anthropology blue polka dot bowl and this one's going to be all right this one is due for um $13 that's going to be item number 4 
All right, next up is number five. I'm just gonna run through all the bowls. This is the other bowl that I have. Um, this is a, um, oh, Cindy's calling number four. Congrats, Cindy. Okay, I have another bowl. This green one is a... Oh, hold on. I have not been... Um, writing my notes down. Okay, so number five is another bowl. And this is a, um, a Waterford bowl. So, um, Waterford. The, the collection is called Green Tea. And it's beautiful. I love, like, this scalloping. And it's kind of like an oval. Yeah, it's, 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 uh, it's definitely an oval. An oval-shaped bowl. And it's really, really pretty. And it's in this beautiful, like, matcha green color. And, yeah, it's Waterford. It's um, Waterford Great Room. So it's, like, their ceramic collection. Oh, thank you, Tanya. Yeah, if you guys can give the video a thumbs up, it will help the channel immensely. Thank you. Um, okay, so this is our Waterford Green Bowl. And this one will also do for $13. So it's such a random number. But $13. That's going to be item number five. This is a beautiful, like, this would be a like, great, like, salad bowl. Be really I actually, um, I had a bunch of different ones in different sizes. Like, I had, like, serving platters and stuff. And then I, I brought them all to the Philippines when we went, um, back in 20, 2019. And for some reason, I didn't bring this, I think. Or I left it out. Or I got it afterwards. But I have... <laughs> Yeah, anyway, yeah. Um, vintage, oh, congratulations, Marjorie. Number five is going to you. Yay! Um, I only have one Irex piece that I have at the moment. I know I have more, I just haven't found them yet. Um, but it's actually right next to me. Hold on, let me grab it. Uh, Marjorie. Okay, so number six will be the one Pyrex piece that I have. Okay, um, this is, I've been putting stuff inside of it, of course, it's just been sitting over there. Um, this is the only Pyrex piece I have with me. Uh, I know I have more, but it's just this floral design. I don't know what the floral design is called. It's in pretty good shape, though. It has, like, a couple little, like, marks on it but an overall like a really really good condition um it's a 1.5 liter bowl and yeah so this is number six our um pyrex white bowl with floral design. Okay, and this one is gonna be, I don't know, 10 bucks. It's gonna be number six. Okay. My mom texts me. Um, I will keep it for now. I wanna have high tea in my patio when the weather permits. <laughs> oh my gosh. Now you know where I get it. I got it from my mom. I got it from my mom. Oh! I, the, the, like the casserole ones? I think I have some of those somewhere. I know I had... I sold some before. Because I think I had a couple of them before. Um, but I think I have more of them somewhere. I'll have to find them. Okay, next up 
is going to be number seven. I guess I'm doing everything in batches. So, um, oh, I have like this wooden owl. <laughs> I think it's made of mango wood. I'm not sure, but it kind of looks like a mango wood because it's like that lighter color. But it's just a little wooden owl, just like a little decorative object. You can put it on a stack of books or on a bookshelf, on a side table, coffee table, console, whatever. Um, yeah, we always buy owl things because my dad always, like whenever we're talking about someone or something, he always goes, who? Who? And then we call him an owl. So, <laughs> uh, we have a, a lot of owl things. So, this is our um, wooden owl sculpture. And I don't know, we'll do this one for seven bucks. That's going to be item number seven for seven dollars. All right, next is number eight. And let's do. Oh, okay. Let, um, I have, hi everyone. Hi, Claire, how are you? Adrian says hi too. This is a blue and white floral teapot. It's ironstone, so it's an ironstone teapot. It's beautiful, it's in really great shape. Um, there's no, like, things in it or anything. I just washed it. It's a little wet inside, unfortunately. But, um, this is the logo. I can't read other, like, I can't read what it says other than that it's ironstone, but it's like a crest. I don't know if anyone knows what that logo is. I didn't get a chance to search it up, but I think it's like a unicorn and a lion on there, and it's like a crest. And then on the very bottom, it says ironstone, and then it says something else. It probably, uh, does it say established? I have no clue. But it's really pretty. Uh, I love blue and white ceramics. But this is a blue and white um, ironstone teapot. And this is number eight. Okay, this is our blue and white floral ironstone teapot. And this one, how much? What have you done? Bombay. I don't think it's Bombay because I have um, a bunch of Bombay things, especially in the blue and white collection. And the bottoms are different and it says Bombay. You can actually like read it clearly. I don't know if this is like, I think this is like an English brand. Like an English ironstone brand. Yeah, I think it's made in England too. Actually, let me see if I can image search it. Let's see if it'll come up. I'm pretty interested in knowing. I'm going to use my Google image search and see if I can just image search the logo. Okay, there's this one on Etsy. Let's see how much they're asking for it on Etsy. Okay, okay, this is a different style. It um, looks like this. But it's from the same brand. It has the same logo underneath. Um, let's see what else it says. Oh, this one's actually more readable. It says... Petobia wear, I think is what it says. Um, Flow blue Victorian wear ironstone teapot. Interesting. I think I found some other stuff that also has it too. Vintage. Okay, so I think it's called Victoria wear. Is the brand. Oh, is this the same teapot? Oh, 
No, it's not. It's the one that has that little house design. Anyway, it's um, Victoria Wear, I guess. So we're going to do this one for, I don't know, 20 bucks. It's going to be item, item number eight for our blue and white floral ironstone teapot. Okay. And then number nine is next. Oh, Lady Badger's calling it. Congrats, Lady Badger. Yay! My mom also has a cooking instrument for everything, too. But, yeah, I'm usually the one that ends up washing everything. <laughs> but congrats, Lady Badger. You're going to love it. It's so pretty. I love the colors. Okay, next up is number nine. But I love displaying food. Like, I will use a million bowls and a million platters. And my mom's like, there are, like, eight different plates on the table for one person. And I'm like, it's the aesthetics. Yeah, Hypatia, we do. <laughs> you literally use everything. Okay. Okay, so this is gonna be number nine. Okay, I think I'll do, should I do this one as a set or, I don't know, if, like they match, but they're like two different things, but I guess I'll just do them as a set, but if, you guys want me to separate them like we did before with the vases? Let me know. But um, these are a set of, um, well, this is a vase. And then this is uh, it's like a olive oil um, thing, decanter, I guess. And they're Starbucks. And they are circa 2003, I think. Yeah, so they're from 2003. So they're from like 20 years ago and this is a ceramic vase and they're made in Italy, I believe. Handmade, dishwasher safe. I just try to remove this sticker. Yeah, made in Italy. So the design is really pretty. It's like a f abstract floral design and it's kind of like in a maroon red color. I love the little scalloped top. And then this is the, I guess you can use this for like olive oil or, um, I don't know, like red wine vinegar or something. I have no clue. But I think this would be for like olive oil. This little lid with a little um, corkscrew stopper. But yeah, so set of two. Oh. Set of two Starbucks um, vase and olive oil dispenser in white and maroon. Yeah, it's Starbucks brand. Isn't that cool? Like, I didn't know Starbucks used to carry these in 2003. These are pretty cool. I feel like these are actually, um, I had some, I also had some of the stuff in blue, like the blue collection. And I don't remember if I sold it or if I still have it somewhere else. But I remember these are kind of collectible, I think. If memory serves. No, Vaderin? Yes, no? Oh, okay. Let's see. Ooh, the pitcher is 88. The, the pitcher is expensive. I don't have a pitcher, though. <laughs> um, but yeah, we'll do the set of two for how much, Vaderine? 25? All right, we're doing 25 for the set of two. <laughs> You're going to say $40. <laughs> All right, Vaderine said 40, but I'm saying 25. What did you say, Vaderine? 
Uh, Sam called it. Congratulations, Sam. <laughs> Yay! Starbucks! Hello, Starbucks lover. Yes, I love it. I wonder if I still have... Okay, I can't put it... I can't set it like that. Because they're all going to fall over. I wonder if I still have the blue one. The blue ones are so pretty. Um, I think... What did I have in the blue? I think I had an oil decanter. Maybe it was just an oil decanter. I think I only had one piece. I, anyway, I don't know where it is. I might have given it away. But congratulations, Sam. I might have given it to like my aunt or something. Don't remember. But if I find it in the garage, I'll let you guys know. Okay, number 10. <gasps> no, was it good, Sister of a Down? I ha if you had um, the olive oil ice cream, olive oil ice cream is really good. <laughs> Sam, yeah, no, it's 25 bucks. Major was like, $40. Okay. Um, now, I have some clothing pieces. Oh, okay, this is a suit that I got for Cade that he never ended up wearing. Though I feel like he should try it on, but whatever, Cade. Okay, uh, <laughs> this is a size 12 um, suit. It's, uh, the brand is Calvin Klein, so it's a 12 regular, uh, Calvin Klein, so it's size 12 boys, it's a gray suit with the little pants right here as well, um, yeah, Calvin Klein boys suit set. We add item number 10. Um, Calvin Klein boys suit set size 12. And I don't know, should we just do like $10 if anyone's interested? Um, that's number 10. Oh, $10 for number 10. Like it. Okay. And then 11. Right, Kathleen? It's a good suit. I don't remember if he. I think, like, he went with, like, a different color or something. But. Um, okay, next up. This is a J. Crew, oh, this is my mom. So, this is a J. Crew sweater. And. It has like uh, this like roughly neck thing. Yes, Carmen, it's uh, boys size 12 or kids size 12. Um, oh, J. Crew sweater. Oh, did I spell Cal oh, so I'm sorry, I spelled Calvin wrong, but you guys already know. Oh, Purple Rain's calling it. Congrats, Purple Rain. Yay! Um, okay. I'm sorry, it's a little wrinkly. Uh, okay, so it's in, it's a black sweater. It has uh, kind of like a, what is the, what is that called? It is Calvin. It's that Calvin Klein, Kathleen. I, I can't spell things. And it has a little zipper on, on the back. Um, yeah, it was mom. This is a size extra large. And just a nice little sweater with a fun little collar. And this is number 11, black, uh, J sweater with a ruffle neck 
trim. Thank you, sister of a dad. And this one will do for 10 bucks if anyone's interested. Um, no, it's the, it's not the line. It's just a little decorative thing around the neck. It's literally just around the neck part. Um, but yeah, it's a size extra large. I don't think I put that. <laughs> Kathleen, no, you are good. And this is 100% cotton. And machine washable. Okay, next up. Just set that over there. Uh, number 12. And, oh, this is a little Old Navy sweater with a boat design on it. This is in navy, and the boat is like in an orange salmon color. And then um, white, and it has two little seagulls. This is a size large. And this... Oh, my mom cut off the taggy thing. I don't know what it is, if it's like 100% cotton or anything, but yeah. But super cute. Nice, like, little boat sweater. So navy blue, old navy boat sweater, size large. This one also will be ten dollars. It's gonna be number twelve, and then thirteen. Oh, my mom and I love nautical things. She has a lot of sweaters with boats on it. It's actually kind of funny. Okay, uh, thirteen. I have. Ooh, this one's bejeweled. Does it have all the jewels on it? Sure does. Okay. This next one, this is a J. Crew um, blouse. And it's just like a long sleeve like shirt. It's not like thick or anything. And I think it has like a three fourth sleeve. So J. Crew three fourth sleeve. Um, red and blue. Um, striped blouse with jeweled neck detail. And this is a size large. And it has a three-fourth sleeve. I don't know if I said that. Oh, no way! That's cool. I have to check that Harry Tornado. I don't, I don't think I've ever heard of them. I'm gonna have to go check that. Check out the, is that their YouTube channel? Uh, this is our red and blue striped J Crew three four sleeve shirt with jeweled neckline, size large. Again, ten dollars. That's gonna be item number thirteen. Okay, next up is gonna be number fourteen. I feel like these are a little bit out of season because it's like already summertime, but it's actually like, this is literally what we're still wearing here because it's cold. I feel like we're like the only place that's still cold everywhere else. It's like warm already. You're like, what's up with all the sweaters? Okay. So I'm going to check them out. Sister of a down. Oh, this one's pretty. I feel like my mom just wore this not too long ago. Um, this is another J crew sweater and it's in like this gray, knit and then it has like this pretty like flower lace peek out on the bottom and that is just like the bottom portion like it doesn't go through the whole shirt it's just um a decorative little part on the bottom of the shirt or the sweater and this is in a size large so j crew gray sweater with cream floral uh, detail at bottom, size large, also $10. That's number 14. And then, 
<laughs> oh my gosh, my mom like just gave me a box full of sweaters. Oh, Sister of a Dad called it. Congratulations, Sister of a Dad. <laughs> Alrighty. Okay, 15. Here we go. Hi, Kathleen. Okay. You guys are not going to get tired if I just show you a bunch of sweaters, are you? Because my mom just gave me a bunch of, like, sweaters. I think there's, like, seven more. So I'm just going to go fast. Um, they're all probably going to be a size large, extra large. And they're probably all mostly J. Crew. Um, this is another J. Crew sweater. And it just has this black and cream geometric print on the front. And size large. J. Crew black and cream. Um, geometric print sweater, size large, also $10. So I'm, I'm going to go fast, okay? If there's no print on the back, it's just on the front. Um, and it's, it has like a cool like texture to it. Like it's like almost like 3D. And then 16 is next and we have um this is a purple sweater okay this one is just a plain v-neck purple banana republic sweater the color on this one is gorgeous though really really pretty size large this is merino wool beautiful color on this one and again this one is banana Republic, so that's number 16, and this is our purple banana republic merino wool v-neck sweater size large, also $10, number 15, or 16, sorry, that was number 16. Okay, then 17, ooh, this one's pretty. Um, this one is a really pretty baby blue J. Crew sweater. Hi, Boots! Happy first day of June! I love the design on here. Do you see, like, that cable knit kind of, like, striped down the middle? It's really cute. This isn't a baby blue. This is J. Crew size extra large. And, yeah, just a beautiful blue knit sweater light blue j crew knit sweater size xl again ten dollars and that's number 17 and then 18 my mom Totally cleared out her sweaters. Okay. Oh, this one's really pretty. Okay, this one is J. Crew. This one. Oh, Marge is Marjorie's calling number seventeen. Congratulations, Marjorie! Yay! Yay. Congratulations. Hi, Robin. Okay, number eighteen is a J. Crew sweater. And it's in a tan, and it has, like, this black bow design around the collar. Really cute. Hmm? Oh, Purple Rain's con 16. Congratulations, Yay! Purple Rain. Yay! That totally goes with your name, the Purple Banana Republic sweater. Perfecto. Okay. Um, okay, back to the J. Crew sweater. It's tan, and then the black little, like, bow design around the neck. 
and size large. And J. Crew tan sweater with black bow design, size large, ten dollars. Love the oh, is that what it's called, Robin? I have no clue. Is it Trump Lail? Lail? Oh. Can't pronounce it. Number 18. Alrighty, 19 is next. My hair is just getting crazier and crazier by the second. I'm so sorry. Oh, Boots is calling it. Congratulations, Boots. Yay! Number 18 going you. Oh, I'm glad you guys like the sweaters. Okay. Next, I have... Ooh. Okay, this is a Uniqlo. Um... Shirt. It's like a sweater shirt. It's like a thicker fabric, but it's just like a shirt. Does that make sense? Um, it's a size large. And then it has like this. It's like this on the bottom, like a sweater. So it's like, I don't know, what I might, do I call it like a sweater shirt? It's kind of like sweaterish material. It's like a thicker material. And then it has like this sweater collar. I don't even know what I'm talking about. But it's just like a nice thick white t-shirt and it's a size large but it's definitely oversized because I think it's almost like a men's large extra large. But yes. This is um, Uniqlo. I know Sister of Down she always, she has like such good like fashion sense though. She always gets the cutest things. Uh, this is our Uniqlo. I'm just gonna say it's a thick t-shirt. <laughs> Taryn, how are you? Oh my gosh, it has been forever. How are you, Taryn? Um, fabric content on this one is 100% cotton. Um, the rib portion, I guess, which is, like, the bottom and, like, around the neck, is, uh, 71% cotton and then 29% polyester. And that's for, like, the elasticity. But, um, yeah. So, Uniqlo thick t-shirt, size, oversized. Oversized, large. And, again, like, it's $10. Um, but you guys gotta follow Taryn. She is on Instagram. She's a fellow reseller too. She's amazing. Um, Taryn, you got you gotta you let me leave um, leave your info so that I can put up a link for your Instagram. Oh, sister of a down, you're too kind. I don't know about me with that, but <laughs> yeah, she's a really nice. I feel like I would wear this. I might try this on if no one gets it. But yeah, it's unique low. And that was 19. 20 is up next. And, oh, this is another one that's a really pretty color. This one is a beautiful, like, salmon pink. And it's really cute. Okay, you guys are going to love the back. Oh, yes, Taryn, we have to. But leave your IG name so people can give you a follow and check out your um, your Poshmark and stuff. Uh, this is a Banana Republic sweater. It's in this beautiful salmon pink. Look at the back. It has a zipper detail that runs all the way down. And the zipper is a brass. And then the fabric of the zipper is in this like beautiful orange. It's like a, it's like a golden orange, like a mango. And that is just so pretty on the back. I love that. And it actually does zip all the way down. So it's a nice little detail there on the back. Again, this is Banana Republic. This is a size large. And Banana Republic Salmon Pink Sweater, size large. With... 
Oh my gosh, Taryn, do you? You guys, she Taryn does lives on Poshmark. She does live sales just like this. You guys definitely got to give her a follow and check out one of her live sales. Uh, orange zipper on back with brass hardware. And this one, $10. That's going to be item number 20. All right, next up is 21. Oh, Marjorie's calling number 20. Congrats, Marjorie. Yay. Yay. So pretty. The color is everything. Congratulations. Oh, this is another really pretty one. I love these, like, floral detail cutouts on this sweater. Um, this is a J. Crew sweater. This is size large. And it's in, it's kind of like an oatmeal color. It's like the... Um, like a beige with like the gray in it. I think it comes up on camera, right? Yeah, you can see that there. It's like a heathered gray, right? I think that's what it's called. A heathered gray. Um, it has this floral kind of like lace embroidery on the front. And it is kind of like, it does like the holes are actually holes, but it's just like in that little area around the front right there. But it's really, really pretty. Can you see the lace details? It's like a floral embroidered like lace detail on the front. Um, J. Crew, again, size large. This is number 21. J. Crew heathered gray sweater with embroidered floral lace detail. Size large. 10 bucks. That's number 21. This is actually so perfect because um, my mom usually will send like most of her clothes too to the Philippines, but like the sweaters, like people don't really wear sweaters too often, really. And oh, Lady Badge is calling it. Congratulations, <laughs> Lady Badge. It's the fun one for you. So pretty. Twenty-two is next. Well, I was nervous. I didn't think people were gonna like the sweaters, but I'm so excited that you guys like them. <gasps> Why do I love all the sweaters? They're all so cute. This one is another super cute sweater. This is a J. Crew sweater, and I feel like my mom wore this like on Valentine's Day, but I don't think it was this year. It might have been last year. But um, this is a J. Crew sweater, size large. And it's in this mauve color with a uh, maroon and navy hearts. It's so cute. And yeah, size large. I believe this is just cotton. Oh no, it's um, viscose, wool, nylon, and a little bit of rabbit hair. Ooh, interesting. But yeah. This is our next item. Robin is high 80s tomorrow? No way. Well, hold on, I need to check my temperature for tomorrow. Where did I leave my phone? Did I lose it? Oh, it's right next to me. Um, the weather for me tomorrow. Today the high was 67, is that crazy? Um, oh wait, tomorrow's actually gonna be warmer. It's 74 degrees tomorrow. Ooh, it's going to go up to 79 degrees on Sunday, but then back down to 70 on Monday and Tuesday. Yeah, that's crazy. The weather here is nuts. But yeah, the high today was 67. It was kind of chilly outside today. Um, so this is number 22. And this is our J. Crew um, heart sweater in mauve, maroon, and navy size large and ten dollars number 22 all right next up is 23 so cute um oh purple rain called it hey kirsten how are you congratulations purple rain i love it you just buy everything 
<laughs> Beautiful. I'm also so red. Did I get like a sunburn outside today? I mean, like even when it's like over, like even when it's overcast, you can still get like sunburn, right? I would get a sunburn even when it's overcast. <laughs> All right, next up, whoopsies. Uh, it's 23, and we're almost through with the sweaters. I think there's just two more. Um, this is a, oh, this is a Pendleton cardigan, and it's in, like, this, um, it's in this blue-gray color, and it's Pendleton size large. And it kind of has a little like scallop detail that goes around the collar and then goes down like the buttoned area. And it also does kind of like cinch at the waist a little bit because it has like this band that goes around. I don't know if you can see that. It looks like knit into the sweater. And yeah, all the buttons are there. What happened, Peter? Oh my gosh, it is. I was working outside and I kept like going like this to my hair because I felt like there were like all sorts of bugs flying at me. <laughs> and I was just like, ah, there's all these bugs in my hair. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um, this is going to be our blue Pendleton cardigan. Size large. And... 10 bucks. That's going to be number 23. <laughs> no, actually, this is how I used to do my hair, you guys remember? Remember like I, when I had hair like this all the time? I feel like that was not too long ago. I just like cut my hair like fairly recently. All right. Um, next up is 24. 24. So cute. Alrighty. And, oh, this is the last item. And this is a Banana Republic. It's like a sweater shirt. It's like a half sleeve instead of like a 3-4. So it's like, it goes down to like your elbow. Hmm? I bet you could... <laughs> I don't know about that, Sister Madame. I feel like it would bother me to have hair, like, on my neck. I've never had, like, long hair, like, all around. Like, I've had my hair on top really long. But I it, like, bothers me when, like, my hair touches my neck. I always just want to cut it. <laughs> but it would be kind of cool to have, like, one of those, like... Is it, like, a burst fade? Where it's almost, like, a mullety, mohawky... Thing. That would be kind of interesting. This is a double XL. So Banana Republic double XL. Um, this is a half sleeve knit. And it's in like a red and gray. Like the fabric has like red and gray in it. Or black. Red and black. <laughs> Hated with a mullet. Oh my gosh. Taryn, you missed it when I cut my hair really, really short. It was super short. It was, like, maybe, like, this long. It was crazy. Uh, oh, what was this again? Banana Republic. Banana Republic. Um, knit half sleeve shirt. Sweater. Um, size... XXL. 10 bucks. Oh, Aki Brinky. Um, what's his name? That's uh, Miley Cyrus' dad. Billy Ray Cyrus, right? That's his name. Don't tell my heart, my Aki Brinky heart. I just don't think you'd understand. My, um, 
my sister, I, I remember when she first started doing dance when like, I, th- I think she started doing dance when she was like four. Um, that was one of the first dances that she learned was a dance to Icky Breaky Heart. And then that was just like always playing. Oh, Sister Verdown called it. Congratulations, Sister Verdown. 24 is the one of you. I feel like I almost remember the dance still. It was just like a really simple dance because it was like little children. But yeah. What's funny is that she was in so many, like she did dance. And then she took vocal lessons. And she was also in, like, this performance troupe that sang and danced. And to this day, I remember, like, every song that she ever had to learn. And she could only remember, like, half of them. And she's like, how do you still remember all these songs? And I'm like, I don't know. Like, you were literally always singing them. And we always listened to them in the car. Like, that's all we ever did. Oh, wait, hold on. Um, Sister of a Down. This has like a... I don't know. I think it might be bleach. It has bleach on it. I'm just going to send this to you for free if you want to just wear it. But I'm not going to charge you for it, okay? So we're just going to send this to you. Uh, Vadrian? Yeah, don't um don't charge her for it. But we're just going to send it to you free of charge, okay? I just want it to be able to go somewhere. Um, but, yeah, it has a bleach stain on it. I didn't even notice. Okay, that is all the clothing that I have that my mom gave me for tonight. Um, hopefully she gives me some more clothing very soon. Let me just put these back in there. I remember my first favorite song was in the bathtub, and it was Hooked on No Doubt. <gasps> I, I love that song too, Kirsten. Yes. Line dancing. Oh, I remember in when we were in PE in, um, was it in high school? I think even in junior high. Like, there was, like, a dance thing, and we had to, like, learn line dancing. Like, it was it was hilarious. You're welcome, Sister Verdown. Yeah, I didn't notice that, um, the little bleach stain, but that is yours, free of charge. We'll just send that over to you. Um... Hada, yeah, we were. Um, that was all that she gave me for today. So she didn't get a chance to really go through everything that much. But we definitely have a way more stuff. You're probably for you. Oh, I can just imagine little Kirsten singing Don't Speak in the... T- <laughs> oh my gosh. I Wait, I was probably that old too when I was singing that song. I don't remember. But I remember that was a very popular karaoke song for us. Like, Filipinos love Gwen, like, no doubt. Like, I'm all Gwen Stefani, but they also do love Gwen Stefani. But that is, like, a staple Filipino karaoke song. Um, if you've ever been to a Filipino household and then they sing karaoke, someone is definitely going to sing Don't Speak. <laughs> Taryn, there's a lot more inside of her closet, so... All right, well, that is the clothing. Let me just move this over here. Uh, what else do I have? What else do I have? What else do I have? Oh, I know I showed this to you guys earlier, but I really want someone to get these. They're the Pottery Barn Bowls right here. Set of seven for only $20. I know you guys want them. I really need more space inside my curio cabinet. I don't want to have to put them back inside. So that is going to be item number 25. Set of seven. Pottery barn for only $20. Set of seven. Pottery barn white bowls. <laughs> yeah, Filipino, like karaoke. Uh, so much fun. I feel like my family hasn't had like a karaoke party in a while. <gasps> Pollyanna! 
Yay! Thank you for getting the bowls. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. <laughs> yes! Yay! So happy. I have been trying to sell these bowls for days. Days, I tell you. Okay. Well. Thank you so much, Pollyanna. You are the best. I'm going to put these bowls over here next to Snorlax. Set of seven bowls. Oh my gosh, what is that? Piece of lint. Okay, uh, next up. I mean, does anyone want to buy some Chanel boots? <laughs> I've been trying to sell these for a while, too. Um, these are size 40, but they fit like a size 8.5. Chanel black four inch boots, aged calf skin, quilted leather, antique brass hardware, zippers on either side with little Chanel logos right there on the side. And look at that heel. That is a cool looking heel. I feel like, is it because I'm wearing black also? that they, There you go. Look at that heel. It looks so cool. Hipatia, that, the, it's contagious. You're going to go to a Filipino party and then it's going to be like, you're, you're just going to want to sing. Karaoke is so much fun. Ooh, that's perfect, Pollyanna. I like that they look like, um, upside down, uh, saucers, like alien spaceships. <laughs> Hana. Okay, so this is 26, okay? Our black Chanel quilted booties. Size 40. Fits like size 8.5. With 4 inch heels. And these are... Okay, these are 300. They're gorgeous. Sunday. Chanel boots. Ah! Okay. So, <laughs> those are our Chanel boots. Yeah, they fit like I, they fit like an 8.5, Darren. My friends love karaoke, but they're all in the band, so. Oh, yeah. Filipinos also get very competitive with karaoke. Like, whenever, um, especially growing up, it was, like, literally, it was, like, um, I wouldn't say it was, like, American Idol, but, like, parents would, like, make their kids sing, and it was, like, who, whose child is the best singer? It's hilarious. Okay, next up is 27. There, I also hear that they're surprisingly comfortable to walk in. My mom just can't do heels anymore because of her um, foot problems. But I love it. <laughs> Hana, oh my gosh. Can you imagine? Filipinos are all amazing singers. <laughs> You know, I heard something about, like, um, the way that Filipino, the Filipino language is, it just makes it easier for Filipinos to sing or something. It's something to do with the language. Hi, Linda! <gasps> oh, it didn't go, I was just gonna say, like, how did it go with the walking? But I bet you looked really hot wearing them, though, Hana. I bet you looked fantastic. Okay, 27. Let me see if I can get anyone to buy this. I know someone wants this anthropology picture. The carafe. Glass carafe. It has these floral signs with the gold flowers. It says bonjour at the top. And it says ciao bella. Ciao bella. It's um, 
that it's coming off a little bit right there. <laughs> oh my gosh, Taryn. Karaoke at my house. Let's have a party. Um, they're sitting down shoes. Exactly, Kathleen. That's what my mom did when she wore those Chanel boots. She was like, I'm just going to sit here and look cute at the dinner table and then take them off when she gets up. Okay, so this is our glass anthropology Apology Karaf. Is Karaf? Yeah. Uh huh. And that was how much, Peter? Okay. We're going to do it for $15. If anyone's interested, that's going to be number 27. Yeah? Did I spell Karaf right? I think it's for the K. Is it for the C? It's for the C. Okay. Something I can shout out. Okay, so that was 27. Wait, what was 26? Did I miss 26? Oh, that's right. Okay. 28 is up next. I can't carry a tune to save my life. Oh my gosh. Oh, I had, um, growing up, uh, one of, like, my best friends from, like, elementary school to, like, high school, he, um, unfortunately was very tone deaf, but he loved to sing. And then every time we had a party, he would always sing karaoke, and it would, it's like, it, he was like, it's, it was so, like, bad that it was good. Like, he was like William Hung status. <laughs> well, actually, no, I think he was more on tune, though. William Hung. I can't think of who was really, like, not that good of a singer on American Idol during the... But it was, yeah, it was a sight, for sure. Oh, Hana. <laughs> <laughs> oh goodness. Okay. Next up is number 28. Now I got it all red. Um, what else do I have around here? Okay. I have... Oh, this is um, a Starbucks Rodarte coffee cup. Um, okay, I have the original lid, but... Um, I didn't notice when I bought it that the lid is damaged, so I will include it, but the lid is damaged. But I, you can use any Starbucks lid on, on these, but this is just the one that comes with it because it matches the little bottom part. But this is the Rodarte um, Starbucks collaboration mug, and yeah, it's like pixelated. It's like Minecraft, but Rodarte is amazing. And <laughs> this is going to be number 28, our Starbucks, ah, not in caps anymore, Starbucks Rodarte um, coffee mug, cup, coffee cup, and uh, $10. She bangs, she bangs, da -da -da -da, she moves, she moves, because she looks like a flower, but she stings like a bee. Okay, that was number 28. Also, if you guys didn't enter the giveaway, don't forget to enter. Let me leave the link one more time. We're giving away the metallic gold <clears throat> peacock vase. There is the link right there. Leave your answer in the comments of that video. And at the end of tonight's live sale, we're announcing the winner for our peacock vase. Look how fun this is. It's so cute. I know I have another one of these somewhere, but I can't find it. I think it's in another box, but super fun. I think I also had like a little mini one, but it was just like a little statue, or maybe it was a candle holder or a board holder. Was it also a vase? No, it was a candle holder. Anyway, uh, next up is 29. Um, all right. What do we have? Oh, I still have these um, Prada sunglasses. 
William Hung, he's amazing. I feel like he didn't he actually make like a lot of money off of that song. Like it was like he made like a lot of money off of it. And I think I think he made a music video. So, but now I think he's like a is he like an engineer or like something with computer software or something? But these are our Prada butterfly wing sunglasses. I wish they looked better on me, but they do not. So I apologize. But they're really cute. They are a silver frame, and the lenses are in blue. And the the lenses do have like very light marks on them, but nothing that's going to impede your vision or that you're even going to notice when you're looking at them. But they're super cute. To bring out all the sunglasses. Sam, do you really want to see all the sunglasses? Uh, they see Prada on the sides. Butterfly wings. Should we do a sunglass segment right now? Prada silver butterfly. Butterfly. Sunglasses with <laughs> a gradient. Are they gradient? Yeah, with blue lens. How much are these, Adrian? <laughs> Not you singing the butterfly song too. I don't even. I don't even actually know how that song goes. Oh, that's right. That's how it goes. Vadrian singing karaoke. <laughs> this the crowd is stunned. Silence. Tens. Okay. Next up, I guess for Sam wants sunglasses, so let's do a couple more. Um, I also have two pairs of Fendi sunglasses that are very similar to each other. Uh, very, very similar. Just the frames are um, a different size. Like, this is a thinner frame, and this is a thicker one. Um, though, like, the actual size and shape of the sunglasses are very similar. And then just the little logos on the arms are a little different. This one has a the circle S um, hardware, and it's in a gunmetal silver. Now, whoever buys one of these, I'm going to keep the other pair because <laughs> they're just so similar. But um, this one has the spell out of Fendi on the sides. They're both in a tortoise shell. They both have a gradient. Uh, brown lens. Um, this one is just in like in like new condition. This one has some light marks on the lenses, but very light. But these are how these look. They're very similar, but I feel like they're also kind of different because this has a thicker frame, and then this one is a little bit like a it's, it's like a thinner frame. So this is how they look. Again, they look pretty pretty similar, right? Oh, Sam, yeah! You got to. That's exciting. I'm glad you like them. Okay, so this is our... Um, we'll do these first for the Fendi spell out. And these are going to be number 30. Fendi... Hey, Trip on Two Wheels, how's it going? Fendi... Uh, tortoise Shell Sunglasses with Fendi spell out. And these were... How much did Okay, so these are 175. They're number 30. These are the ones with the spell out. They do have the light, very light couple marks on their lenses. And this one, these are like new condition. This is number 31. Fendi tortoise shell sunglasses with full F logo hardware in gunmetal. And these are 185. Okay, so these are number 31. So these are the two that I have that look very similar to each other. And then this is the other pair of Fendi sunglasses that I have that are super fabulous and someone please buy them. They come with a case and I love that the interior of the case is in this, is in this light pink. 
And then like the edging is in yellow. I don't know, I think that's really cool. And then here are the sunglasses. They are large square sunglasses. They have a gold frame, but then the front has a black enamel around it. And then it does have like these little black stud details on there. And it has a brown gradient lens. And it kind of has like a lightning bolt kind of like design on the arms. Yeah, these are fabulous. Someone please get these. They're so cool. These are in really great shape as well. Uh, number 32. So these are large square, square Fendi sunglasses with gold frame and black enamel with gradient brown lenses. And these were how much for you One eighty. Okay, these are one eighty. Okay, and that's number thirty-two. Any Harley parts? Oh no! Wait, I found a Harley T-shirt, but I don't know where it went. Or did I sell it at the crossroads? Do you like Harley T-shirts? <laughs> Okay, so these were the Fendi sunglasses. Oh, you need sunglasses to ride your motorcycle. Or does that like, or is that what the visor or the, the helmet's for? Does that have like built-in sunglasses inside? Oh, thank you, Kathleen. You're so nice. I can't keep all the sunglasses though. I have so many. Um. Oh wait. Um. Where are those other ones? Um. Sam, you gotta check these out. These are Gucci, and I have like the little um, silky or satin case for them. They are vintage, like retro. Helmet visor. Uh, no t shirts. Oh, what about boots? Harley boots. Um, Harley. I see a lot of Harley boots. Um, I've seen a couple of Harley jackets. So the frame, the lenses, the, the the frames are like this gold color, and then the the lenses are like this orange. And we have a couple like very light marks on the lenses as well, but the sunglasses are in pretty great shape overall. They're kind of a vibe though. I wish they were like taller. The width is pretty good though. So these are 33. These are Gucci gold um, retro style sunglasses with orange lenses. How much are these, Adrian? Okay, we're gonna do these for 155. That's number 33. Wait, is it really number 33? I haven't been, I haven't been, I haven't been doing my notes. How did I skip three more? Jeez Louise. I don't know if I could rock these though. I feel like... These are a good, like, um... I think I talked to you guys about how back, like, in, like, back when I was, like, in junior high, high school, elementary, like, it was cool for, like, the moms to use their sunglasses as headbands. These would be, like, a good headband sunglass. Like, these would be really cute. I will, Taryn. Purple Rain, stop. You guys are so nice. I don't think I, I think these are... Like a little too much for me. I like these. Um, these yellow. Like these are like kind of a similar shape. But I like these. Maybe because they're kind of like an aviator. Triangle. Okay. So number 34. Um, is going to be. 
Wait, do you guys still want to see more sunglasses or no? Should we go on to something else? Do I have anything cool? Oh, I have these Celines. Hold on. I have these giant Celine sunglasses. And these are in a tortoise shell. These are so big. All right, giant tortoise shell, Celine sunglasses, gray lenses. These are new Celine, they don't have the accent over the E, so they, uh, they have the little logos on the side right there. These are large and in charge. I think these are the sunglasses you're supposed to wear like on the very end of your nose, and then it makes your nose look smaller. I think that's literally what these are. Uh, so these are number 34. Uh, these are the Celine large tortoise shell sunglasses with gray lenses. These are so fabulous though. Like these are, these are so good. They do make your nose look very small though. Like look at when I wear it down here, my nose just shrank like three sizes. It's like instant nose job. I feel like Michael Jackson. Uh, how much are these Vader? Yeah, that's it. Really? All right, so these are gonna be one forty-five. These are in great shape too. These are actually pretty cool. I like these. They make my head look smaller too. That's always a plus. I got a makeup ad while going through my makeup. <laughs> Kirsten, your phone is watching you. <laughs> yeah, these are hmm. 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 Yeah, they are cute. How did I forget that I even had these? That happens when you have so many sunglasses though. I'm gonna set these over there, maybe I'll wear them tomorrow if no one wants them. Um uh... And then I just have like some aviators. Nothing too exciting. I mean, I still have, I still have these Luaves too. Do I have a, t is my tan? No, it looks even worse with my tomato skin. I need like a different, I don't know. I need like a major tan for these sunglasses to look good with my skin tone. <laughs> I don't know what I was thinking when I was inside the store when I bought them. Um, but I mean, these sunglasses are still available if anyone's interested, they do come with a case. They are these giant Loewe sunglasses in this, I actually, I love the color. I look like, um, I don't know, crazy. Okay, these are 35. These are Celine, Celine, not Celine, Loewe. Loewe, uh, tan, some beige? Beige sunglasses. And these are how much, Vaderin? Okay, these are 200. Sorry, these are expensive. I paid a lot for them. Um... 3D. <laughs> is that what the style is called? Is it the, are they called the 3D sunglasses? I really like the balloon ones. The balloon Loewe sunglasses are so cute. I like the square balloon ones. They're really cute. I kind of want them in yellow or red. Like something outrageous. But I think they only come in outrageous colors. Oh, I think they come in black too. But yellow and red would be cool. You look like Max Headroom. Who is Max Headroom? Now I have to see who that is. Let's see. Why did that come up so quickly? Oh my gosh, yeah, he does have sunglasses like this. <laughs> that is so funny. Hold on, I gotta post a photo. This is um, my twin, we were separated at birth.
Yeah. Twins. Except that's the tan I need to wear these sunglasses. That's the color I need to be. I feel like I used to be that color. And then I got crazy with my skincare. <laughs> no, Taryn. Unfortunately, I didn't. It was um, really bad in-store lighting was what it did. Was, was what it was. But I used to be really tan. Like this guy. I used to be like... Like, this would look good with the sunglasses, but my face doesn't get this color anymore because of all my skincare products. <laughs> my skin is just, like, n not going to be that color anymore. Um, all right. Was he called Mad Max? I like the movie Mad Max. That was pretty fun. All right, um, what number should we go to tonight? Do we go to like 40? I don't even know. Do I have anything else to show you guys? Um, okay, we're, we're done with sunglasses for the evening though. Hi, Kimberly. How are you? Okay, yeah, Mad Max was a movie character. Like the movie Mad Max. Starring... Who is in Mad Max? What's his name? It was that one guy. And then I remember Charlie Theron was in Mad Max. But I think she was bald. Was she bald in Mad Max? I love Charlie Theron. She's like ageless. She looks so good. She fun. Let's go to 100. I don't know about that. Oh, you're exhausted. I'm sorry, Kimberly. You want to stay up all night? <laughs> ah! Wait, was Mel Gibson in... Wait, are we talking about the original... Was there an original Mad Max? Was Mad Max, like, a remake? Like, the new one? With Charlie Theron? And that one guy? I don't know his name. And then, like, that one guy was in it, and he was... Did he play Bane in Batman? He was, like, one of the guys in Mad Max, no? Am I just making this up? Am I thinking of a different movie? Ask... <laughs> she does it, Sister of Down. That's all the stuff that she gave me. I think she's um, currently... I think she's doing laundry right now, actually. I think that's what she's doing. I really want to eat another one of those apple turnover things that my mom made. I've eaten a total of four. I've been counting. So, on Wednesday at my weigh-in, I'll know how many I ate to cause me to gain how, much, how many pounds. The last time she made them, I gained one pound at my weigh-in. So, I feel like I'm probably going to gain another pound again on Wednesday from eating all of these apple turnovers or whatever they're called. They're so good. Oh, okay. Mel Gibson's the original Mad Max. Thank you, Eclair. That's what it is. No way, Trip on Two Wheels. That's awesome. That's good to hear. Thank you. I'm very glad that you learned how to condition your stuff. Wait, Tina Turner, I love her. <gasps> Linda! Um, what was I going to tell you guys? Okay, let's... I guess we'll just go to 40. Is that okay? I still have... Um, I still have to, like, edit a video for tomorrow. And I need... I think I need to package a few things. Right? It, it has apples. Apples are always good for you. <laughs> and then a flower... It's made of, like, plants. So it's a vegetable. So there's that. Wait, there were, like, lots of Mad Max movies? I didn't know that. I thought there was, like, one Mad Max movie, and then they did, like, a remake or something. When did the original one come out? 
Oh, that's awesome, Trip on Two Wheels. Cheesecake is a restaurant. Oh, Kimberly, that just sounds so good, though. That sound, I love key lime cheesecake. Oh, I'm so hungry now. Okay, uh, let's continue on. Oh, wait. Does anyone want to buy this? I know it's going to kill me to package it up and mail it out. But I have a giant uh, peach. This is a peach. No, pear. This is a pear. Oh, my gosh. A giant pear platter from Pottery Barn. James and the Giant Pear. I know it's peach, but um, I don't know any movies with pears. Giant pear platter. It's huge. What did, um, was it Linda? Did you say that you can serve a newborn in here or something? But it's a giant pear platter from Pottery Barn. It's fantastic. And uh, I've had it for many years. And it has been to many a Thanksgiving at my house. I do, Linda. I do. Let's go to at least 60. I just drank a Diet Coke. <gasps> Wait, I want a soda. Uh, okay, so this is our giant pottery barn pear. <laughs> yeah, Linda. I laugh every time I think of this platter now. Oh, it's just like, oh my gosh, Linda's like, I could put a baby on here. Um, pear platter. How much was it, Peter? Okay. We're doing it for 20 bucks. That's probably how much I'm going to have to... How much packaging I'm going to... Or how much I'm going to spend on packaging to know that out. It's going to be crazy. A Bosch pear platter. Yes. Oh, I skipped like two numbers again in my notes, didn't I? Are we on really, are we actually really on 36? <laughs> All right, well. Next up, I'm on a Pepsi Peeps. Wait, what's a Pepsi Peep? Like eating Pepsi with Peeps, like the little, um, little marshmallow things? Cause that sounds good. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I think now the time to have... Oh my gosh. Well, um, do you guys just want to see more bags? I don't have any more home decor stuff. That's that's it for me. Uh, oh my gosh, Purple Rain! Thank you! Yay! Purple Rain got a birthday. Ah! Congratulations. Alright. Purple Rain, thank you. You're gonna love that platter. Like, honestly, it's so good. I've used it for so many things. I put, like, um, I think one year we put our turkey on there. Um, used it for charcuterie. Um, we did a, like, a paella style thing on there. I just, like, kind of decorated it up instead of putting it, like, keeping it inside the, um, like the paya pan. Uh, so, so many things. I say you should get the totes out. Okay, let me grab some bags then. So we're going to have a quick intermission then. Because I'm going to grab bags and I'm going to grab um, a soda. And I'm also going to grab one of those apple things. So, uno momento por favor. I will be right back
Like, how good this looks. Yum. Also, let's check out my plate. Gorgeous. Okay. Um, let me try to make some room over here. <laughs> Sorry guys, Vader is talking to me about someone that's speaking Ozempic. Allegedly. Allegedly. <laughs> okay. I got some bags. And I also got... One of these guys. Oh, I wish you guys could have some. These are so good. Okay. Uh, you and that plate. <laughs> Did they have the same plate as last time? Oh. There's like... Wait, what? <laughs> Darren. Darren's like, who is it? Okay, so that's... <laughs> I'm like, who is taking Ozempic? Everyone say it. Um... No, some someone that Vadrian follows on Instagram, um, they think took Ozempic or is taking Ozempic because they lost a lot of weight really quickly. So, You're having an adult beverage in your school Starbucks class. I love that. Okay. Um. Thirty-seven. Oh, do you see the Dooney and Burke? So I do have that Dooney and Burke um, laptop bag. I have the Michael Kors laptop. Let me see what tote I have. Okay, this one is This is my hands. Hold on, I'm gonna look up this bag because I feel like I've never seen this bag before. Let's see. Happen, Pedro? Mm. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay, this is our next, <coughs> excuse me, item. So I'm not sure if this is authentic. Yeah, I feel like it is. Is, is Tanya in here? Tanya, are you in here? Mm. Yeah, I'll ask Tanya about this one. I don't know, I've never seen this coat bag or this coach bag before. And I don't know, the Creed looks a little fishy. So I looked it up, but I'm not sure. So maybe not this bag for right now. So I find out about it. But this is from my aunt, so I don't see why it would not be real, but like, it's a cute tote, right? It kind of looks like um, Dooney and Burke all-weather leather, but it's like Coach. I mean, everything else matches up. But it's, like, made in USA, but then it has, like, the fabric lining. We're going to skip this one for now. Let's put this over here. I want to bid on an apple turnover. <laughs> uh, no, I'm going to have to eat all of them. So I'm sorry. None of them are for sale right now. Mm. Um, I have this little Burberry. It's like a little, uh, like a Burberry tote shoulder bag. And this is in a dark brown. And it's cool because it has like this, they look like um, metal little bottom corner pieces, but they're actually a patent metallic gold leather. They do have like wear on them, but still in pretty good shape, I think. And top handles are nice and long. They also do have that metallic um, gold patent that looks like metal. The straps are nice and long, so you can carry it on your shoulder. So it looks, it's a pretty good size. Yeah, Taryn, I just, um, I just don't know if it's, like, an authentic coach bag. I don't know, it might be, but I looked up the number and, like, the style, like, the style, the, the photos that came up were of a different bag, so. Yes, Pollyanna, it's, like, armor. Inside is nice and clean. There's a middle dividing zipper compartment, and it closes with these little magnetic snaps on both sides. Um, other than like the wear on the corners of the bag where the patent leather is, um, the bag is in pretty good shape. And it's a dark brown leather. It has these little studs across the top as well. And then these are, these are actually metal. The little metal end pieces right here on the two sides. So this is number 37. This is our uh, dark brown leather Burberry shoulder tote bag with patent gold leather trim and gold hardware. Okay, we're going to do this one for $350. That's going to be item number 37. Here she is again. It's a really good bag. I like that soft leather. It feels almost like a lambskin. 
I think it's cats. All right, next up, we have number 38. That was just my Stanley. <laughs> Good thing I moved the stuff that was over here. Oh, it did hit the little lid off of this thing, though. But it's fine. Some water splashed out. Oopsies. I'm making a mess. Okay. Next item is... These are all bags my aunt gave me that I'm showing right now. Oh, it's just a cute little coach bag. This is a cute little coach crossbody flat bag. And has a little hang tag right here and a little um, coach circle charm. And it's in canvas. And then it has black patent leather trim, zipper and on the um, hardware as well of the crossbody strap. There's a front pocket right here. And then there is the interior. There's the creed right there. It just zips across the top, just like that. And this, oh, there's also another pocket on the other side. So there's pocket here, pocket here. And you can actually, um, you can double up the strap? No. Oh, well, you can make the strap super short and then wear it as a shoulder bag, but it also does have this little leather piece right here to wear on your shoulder when you, like that. Ooh, Louis Vuitton and real estate, fancy. So this is our black coach, monogram, canvas, small, flat, crossbody bag with black patent, leather trim and brass hardware and this one is gonna be let's just do $40 for this I should just do $30 for this one $30 it's gonna be item number 38 it's in like new condition it's in really great shape and number 38 okay Next up, we got 39. What else does my aunt have for us? This is like a surprise for me too. I feel like I haven't looked all the way down here in a while. Um, I have a Ferragamo tote bag. This is a vintage tote. It's in a black fabric, like a nylon, and then it's a black patent across the front and then the bata, ba batum, bottom and then the back. There are two zipper pockets here in the front with the Ferragamo hardware on the zipper pulls are nice inside just has a ferragamo fabric lining and this bag does zip up all the way across the top and it's separated with this middle divider and there is a zipper pocket here in the back and then there's also two open pockets here on the other side. There you go, two open pockets. It's super clean. The bag is in a really, really great shape. Um, it does have little feet on the bottom. There are just a couple little marks on the patent on the bottom of it. You kind of have to you see them, they're kind of like right there. It's kind of hard to show but they're on the bottom. And I think on the front there are a couple little, just like light marks on the patent, but nothing like super crazy or obvious. 
Um, otherwise, the bag is in really great shape. Those straps are also nice and long, so you can carry them or the bag on your shoulder. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry, Kimberly. Must be really loud. Okay, so this is 39. This is our black nylon and patent leather Ferragamo tote bag with silver hardware. And this one's gonna be how much, Beatrice? Hmm, no. How much? Okay, let's do $95 for this one. Okay, $95 is going to be number 39. And then 40 is next. It also does come with the Ferragamo dust bag as well. The dust bag does have a little stain on it, though. It's in the corner. And what else do we have in here? It's this guy. That has a little color transfer. Uh, I have a little C by Chloe bag. This is a little C by Chloe. And it's a little handbag. You can wear this one on your shoulder too. But it's a metallic bronze leather. And then it has gold hardware. It has this um, little C by Chloe hardware right there too. Which is kind of cute. And then it has um, a brown leather trim. There's two front pockets right here. There is a little bit of wear on the brown leather on the corners. But otherwise, the bag's in really great shape. Um, the metallic leather has a very small amount of rubbing on the corners also. This guy zips across the top. And there is one interior zipper pocket. It does have D-rings for a crossbody, though the bag does not come with the original crossbody strap. But if you had like a brown leather strap, you can definitely use that on here. And I think it would look really good because it has that brown leather trim. And this is number 40. Oopsies. Metallic patent leather by Chloe handbag with brown leather trim and gold hardware. And this is... Okay, we're going to do 75 for this one. That's number 40. Alrighty. Oh no, I think they're falling out. Um, I have this large Banana Republic, like, hobo shoulder bag. And it's in cream and black pebbled leather with silver hardware. Um, has a little Banana Republic hang tag right there. And it's nice and large. It's a really good size. Interior is in this black and white leopard print. Fancy. And there's a zipper pocket on one side and then two open pockets on the other. Um, this bag is in like new condition and it also does come with the dust bag as well.
Oh, Kimberly. I'm sorry. That must be horrible. Large banana republic hobo shoulder bag in cream and black leather with silver hardware. And this one is going to be how much, Adrian? Yeah. Okay, we're going to do this one for just $25. And this one's in light new condition. That's going to be number 41. Up next, we got 42. Let me just take a bite. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kimberly, definitely. Oh, he turned it off, that's good. I still have this, um, this is a super cute Sophie Home little crossbody bag, and it's in this maroon burgundy color with bright gold hardware. It has a crossbody strap, which is adjustable and removable, so you can also just use this as a clutch also if you wanted. This opens up, the interior is unlined, so it's, um, it's a treated suede, so it is suede, but they put a treatment over it so it feels smooth, and then there's just one interior pocket. And so this is Sophie Holm. Um, I believe her stuff is made in London. But the leather is beautiful on this. I love the color. And it looks really pretty with that gold hardware. This is number 42. And this one's going to be... $85, and that's number 42. And then 43. I'm going fast. Maybe we'll just go to like 45. Yeah. I have this. Um, I'll be back tomorrow, right? I'll be back at 9 o'clock tomorrow. Hopefully I have um, more stuff for you guys tomorrow, too. Tomorrow's Cade's, um, the first part of Cade's water polo thing to see if his team is going to get into the Junior Olympics. So that's going to be really exciting. We're crossing our fingers. This is a Michael Kors collection drawstring crossbody bag. This is in Python leather. The leather is in excellent condition. And then it has little <laughs> drawstrings. I love that you said huzzah, Claire. Does anyone watch The Great? with, um, what's her name? Elle Fanning, and what's that other guy? He plays uh, the Beast in X-Men. I can't remember. Um, it is adjustable. Uh, I guess you could wear it as a belt bag. You might have to just put extra holes in it, depending. But, I mean, I don't see why you couldn't wear it as a buff bed. Will it fit around my giant waist? Yeah, it would look like this. So you can definitely wear it, like, as a belt bag. You would just have to... You, you definitely have to add more holes to it, though. Because it's on the... It's on the smallest... Or it's on the, um the last hole and I would need to add more to it but you can definitely wear it as a belt bag I think it would look really cute oh yeah he was in warm bodies he's been in a lot of things but he's really funny in the great I love that show. I'm currently watching the, the newest season that came out. It's really good. We just had a baby. Um, yeah, so bag 
is in a really great shape. Interior is nice and clean. There's just one open pocket right there. And I think like the retail of this was like a thousand, well over a thousand dollars for sure. It has brown leather trim, silver hardware. Here's the bottom. And this is a uh, Python leather. Oh, Pollyanna's calling the Sophie home. Congratulations, Yay! Pollyanna. Yay! Oh, that's true, Kirsten. You can always uh, change it to a different strap. You can even do a really cute chain strap. And then that would be really easy to adjust. Okay. Uh, congratulations. Forty three is the um, Michael Kors collection Python drawstring crossbody bucket bag with brown leather trim and silver hardware. And this one's how much, Peter? Okay, it's one seventy five for our Michael Kors collection bag. Forty three. This one's such a good bag. My mom used this one for a few years, actually, and it's still in really good shape. Like, Python leather is so nice. It's so soft. Um, wait, didn't, I don't remember. This one didn't sell, right? The Marc Jacobs wallet on a chain. Um, I do have this little wallet on a chain. It's number 44. Oh, you wanted to paint soot sprites on it? Then you can have it. Okay, if no one buys this today, Vaderina is going to paint soot sprites on this for me. It's a Marc Jacobs New York wallet on a chain. It's in this taupe beige gray color. It has my, uh, Marc Jacobs New York on there in gold. The crossbody strap is adjustable and removable, so you can just use this as a clutch or a large wallet. There's a nice pocket right here in the front. It has a little snap closure, card slots, more card slots. There's a bill pocket, bill pocket, and then a nice open compartment right here. This will fit the largest iPhone Pro Max Plus with a pop socket and a cell phone case. There's a zipper change pocket right here. There is a bunch of lipstick marks though in there, which I find is one of the hardest things to remove. Um, well, we'll try to move it further, but there will probably still be um, remnants of that inside of the pocket. And there is some light rubbing on the corner edges of the exterior. But it's a really great wallet on a chain and a really good neutral color. So this is our uh, taupe leather Mark Jacobs New York wallet on chain with gold hardware. And this is $40. <gasps> Ooh, yeah, the little candies would be so cute. Ugh, so cute. I like, no, I want to do it. No, I want you to do it. I don't want to do it. I don't want to do it. I have too many things to do. <laughs> like, Vader and you do it. I'm busy. <laughs> no one's going to want it. They're like, John, make the soot sprites. All right. Next up is going to be our last item for the evening. I think the boys just came back from water polo practice. Good night, Marjorie. Mm. That was a good bite. There probably is Kimberly. All right, last item for the evening, item number 45. 
is our Dooney and Burke large briefcase laptop bag in tan all-weather leather with the gold wait did this sell oh this sold i'm lying i'm just kidding why do i keep doing this to my to myself and to uh, i think it was sister of a dad who bought this i'm so sorry sister of a dad i'm a hot mess why do i keep bringing this out okay this sold it's gonna go in the sold pile been a long day <laughs> all right um our actual last item will go to this michael kors laptop briefcase bag black pebbled leather silver hardware top handles crossbody strap is fabric nice big back pocket right here with magnetic snap zipper across the top there is a laptop sleeve built in right here nice and padded with a little snap button closure and then on the other side, uh, we have three open pockets. Wow. Nice and clean. Really great shape. Beautiful black pebbled leather and um, a really good briefcase bag. This will hold up to a 15-inch MacBook Pro. And this is going to be our last item for the evening. And that's number 45. Black <laughs> pebbled leather. I need to go. Michael Kors. <laughs> laptop bag with silver hardware. All right, and this one was how much? 50? Wow, cheap. Okay, $50. Uh, I don't know what's happening to me anymore. That one's $50. I really, um, yeah. You take a nap or something. Okay, so that's our last item for the evening. Now, let me leave the link one more time for our giveaway. And uh, the lucky winner tonight is going to receive my golden, my gold little peacock vase. So, so cute. I keep hitting this little glass lid. Okay, so here is the link again. Good night, Boots. Yeah, we'll be back tomorrow at 9 p.m. Pacific time for a super fun late night live sale. Yay! Before the weekend. Woo! <clears throat> let me leave. Let me get the measurements for you, Kathleen. Also, if anyone has any other questions about anything, let me know. It's 16 by 2 and uh, 2 and 3, 2 and 3 fourths. And 11.5. So it's 16 by 2 and 0.75 by 11. The, um, those are the measurements for that bag. All right. Now let's pick our winner. And our winner is do 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 Hipatia! Woo! Congratulations, Hipatia! Um, she loves a floral scent for her perfumes. Love that! Congratulations, Hipatia! You're gonna have a lovely new addition to your home decor. Our little gold peacock! Yay! All right. But that is it for the evening. I hope you guys had fun. I know I did. You guys are always a hoot and a half. Uh, tomorrow, again, we'll be back at 9 p.m. Pacific time for a late night live sale. I haven't had a late night live sale on a Friday for a while, I think, right? I've usually been doing them a little bit earlier. So hope to see you guys there. If not, Saturday at 10 p.m. Pacific time is the next live after tomorrow. And, ooh, wish Kid luck at his water polo match. All right. Thank you guys again, and I'll see you all. Um, Kathleen, yeah, it zips all the way across the top.
So it does that. Oh yeah. So any other questions though? Sorry you guys, I was just like skedaddling already. Mmm, this is so good. Alright you guys, well, we're gonna end the live now. Um, I'll see you guys all in the next one. Good night guys! Bye!